So guys, hey guys, so I just thought I should show you how to rig a Texas rig. Most most people know how to, but figured if I'm doing a Texas rig video, I should probably tell how to rig it. So I'll get all my stuff out. And get my quarter ounce bullet sinker. Thread it on. Now we get my Oh, I'm grabbing two odds. That's why. Okay. I'm just like these look hooks look smaller. I don't want to. I want to grab my three out hook. You can tie a polymer knot or whatever. I just tie an improved clinch because I can tie it fast. It's easy. Now what I do is I, if it's super long tag and I cut that off, but then say there's about that much tagging left, I take a lighter and I burn it so it makes it rounder than the diameter of the line. That way. If your knot isn't the best and it does slip, it's not going to slip past the wider part that you burned. And I do this with mono, copoly, braid, and fluorocarbon. And honestly, I bought some cheap copoly and since, or crappy, I'm not going to name the brand, but I still want to use it because. I'm not gonna waste twenty dollars on a spool, and so I figured that what I got that chick from a buddy who fishes tournaments, and I haven't had problems with my line slipping from that. So there's just that quick. Uh, so let me get my worm. And I'm just using. What is it? Seven inch pumpkin seed power bait worm. Then, since I'm using an extra wide gap, you go straight in on the top, come out one to two ribs on the bait later, since it has ribs or bumps, whatever you want to call them. T twist it around, thread it, then I text pose so I come in and when you text pose I had this problem earlier and I, that's why I missed two fish make sure enough of it comes through and lift up embed it in and there you go you have the tried the true and basically always works Texas rig so if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and as always go fishing